Okay, everybody, short video on how you know you are past time to clean out your nipple. So I was using my machine. I did a couple pieces of embroidery and um, I had oiled it before I started. But do you hear this? Do you see what's going on now? I'm turning the hand wheel by hand so I can go slowly. Okay, so my, my needle goes down, right? foot walks the fabric, the needle's coming up, but what's that? Needle's going down. Okay, I'm gonna do this again so we can all see what's going on. Rotating the hand wheel, okay. I'm gonna change direction. So I'm sewing towards us now. You hear that nipple popping? Okay, what's happening is my needle is getting stuck in the nipple. All right, so it's functioning properly here. The needle's piercing the fabric the nipple's holding the fabric down. The foot's gonna, you know, have walked the fabric to the next step. And now the needle's coming up. But what's happening is that the nipple is supposed to still be down here, but the nipples come up with the needle because the needle is getting stuck in the nipple. And the nipple pops down when the nipple clears the needle. And then, the nipple comes up like regular like it was supposed to be. So that is a sign that your needle and nipple are getting stuck together and it's time to clean out your nipple and your needle bar tube. And the reason I just happened to have caught this at this time, because I was looking at my machine for someone else, but that popping noise, and, and I didn't, I just sat down, I just found this was happening that popping noise, sometimes you'll hear it when you're sewing, and that's exactly what it is. What's supposed to happen is that the, um, the nipple comes up, it's moved, the needle goes down. The nipple is supposed to stay down until your needle finishes coming up. Uh, but because the nipple and needle are stuck together right now, the needle is actually pulling the nipple up okay, as it comes because they're stuck together, then the nipple spring is finally breaking free and pushing the nipple back down like it should have been all along. And then the needle comes up. So I can tell you that my needle and nipple are stuck together. And adding oil to the needle bar tube isn't going to fix this, okay? Um, you're going to have to take your nipple off and clean it because otherwise you're sort of overworking your machine. The needle is pulling up the nipple every time. It's not supposed to happen like this. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll pull out the nipple and needle and take a look. Okay, how do you take off your nipple? You can use a nipple wrench or you can use a little bitty crescent wrench, okay? It doesn't matter um, which one you use. I'll show you the crescent wrench. So the nipple, the nipple right here is a square thing. So you just put your wrench on it and you just unscrew it, okay? I'm just loosening mine. Oops, sorry. And now I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna unscrew it with my fingers, okay? I have to take my needle out from the top, which I haven't loosened yet. The, the nipple won't come off because the needle's in the middle of it. So I'm gonna, um, Loosen my needle, pull it out. Okay, so this is my needle. This is a number four needle. Um, as you can see, there's stuff stuck on the needle right there. I'm gonna wipe that off with my finger. Um, it was some fuzz. So now, <clears throat> this is a number four needle. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make you guys 
seasick, but I'll try to keep you focused here. Okay, so I've got my nipple off the machine. This is a number six needle and a number four, sorry, a number six nipple and a number four needle. So, oh, well, first of all, <laughs> look at, look at the nipple. Okay, so you can see it's clogged, but you can still see through the nipple, okay? But you can see it's pretty clogged. But basically, if I take my needle and I try to stick it through here, it's not going to go really very, very easily. I mean, like I'm, I'm pushing on that and it's not going through. So my machine was like literally sewing. Ow, ow. Um, trying to kill myself here. My machine was literally sewing where it's like trying to push this needle down through this nipple every time. You can clearly see that it is stuck. Oops, sorry. It is, it is not falling off. It's stuck. So that's how you know. And I'm really sorry about the camera angle. I'm trying to get you, get you guys in close so you can see. Oh, look. That's great. I stabbed myself. So now I'm going to clean all this stuff out. Okay. Um, I'm going to move the camera up a little bit so I can stop hitting it. Um, okay. So hopefully you can see this. Um, really shouldn't use your expensive embroidery needle to do this. So I will put that down and I'm going to get my quick threading needle and I'm going to shove it up in here. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to shove it up in this way. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to try to get this lint out. With the using my pointy end of the needle. All right, so I'm getting some of it out, but that's mostly on the larger part of it. I need to get out what's in the small part too. So without trying not to stab myself again, I'm gonna do that. This this needle's getting stuck in here now because it's um I've dislodged some of it. Maybe I can poke the bigger end through. <laughs> nope. Okay. So I'm gonna try to get out what I can with the tip of the needle. Try to go in here. Okay, I know this needle will fit through. It's just not, okay there, so I got it. So what I usually do when I'm cleaning my nipples. <clears throat> I take a little piece of chenille yarn, okay? And I'll try to hook it onto this easy thread needle because I know that this easy thread needle does pass through the nipple. It's not the easiest thing to do. Um, I'm gonna put a, a drop of oil on this chenille yarn. I can't, I can't get it through right now. So I'm gonna pull it back out. I'm gonna um, just see if I can clean like the sides of this. Maybe go in from this side, see what I can do. See if I can pull this through now. The chenille yarn is, sometimes it, it jams up. Um. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes the chenille yarn jams up. Um. This is dangerous. <laughs> Okay, and, and many times I break these easy feed needles off. Okay, I got it through with the pliers. Okay, yay, so that's one time through. It was stuck, stucky. All right, I'm gonna put a drop of oil in here. 
Anyway, the main purpose of this video I wanted to show you guys is that popping sound that you will hear that um, when your needle and nipple are getting stuck. Um, and you may think that it's clean and look, no one, I've done two projects on this machine and no amount of oil is going to fix this. You know, no matter how much oil you try to put down your needle tube or something like that, you have to clean the whole thing. Oh, excuse me. So the way you test is, okay, so see, I still can't get this needle through. This is a number four needle and a number six nipple. It should be very loose. Um, I'm trying not to stab myself this time. It's not. It's So there's still <clears throat> some caked on shellac thing in here. I hope you guys can see this. I'm really sorry if you're just looking at the back of my hand. Um, I'll try to pull this through again. I probably need something better than the chenille yarn. Okay, see now I think I got it. These um, easy thread needles are great, but they do break. I, if you pull sideways on it, you're going to break the end off. So... <clears throat> I know that this will go through. Okay, so now, now this is going through okay. I'm gonna get another piece of chenille yarn. <clears throat> I'll put this on here again. If I don't break it. Okay, I got that on. Okay, we'll try this. See if I, oh, okay. So now it's going through much easier. This is what I mean, the chenille yarn kind of funks up a little bit, but okay. So now I got the chenille yarn going through. That's good. Let's test the needle. So, ah, okay, look at that. So now the needle passes freely through the nipple. So we're, I think we got that problem fixed. And I was just using my machine earlier today making that turkey uh, pillow. And of course I didn't notice any problem with the machine, but I think it also, everything gets a little hot when you're using it. And um, you don't notice it because you're like in the middle of doing something and you're using the power of the motor. And then you go away for a minute and you come back and everything cools down and then you're like, oh, something's wrong. Um, but you can see that it's cleaning and it's very clearly happened quickly. And so that's how you know it's past time to clean out your nipple and needle bar tube. Um, <clears throat> and then for the needle bar tube, I have... Uh, I have this like drinking straw brush okay and I will stick it down so I'm, I'm not gonna move the phone but I'm sticking it down the I'm sticking it down the needle tube right where I put the needle in and you can see coming back out um, let's see so you can see that's coming off the brush and I did clean it after the last time I used it so that's how you clean out your nipple. Um, hopefully that helps. You all have to do it. You will kill your machine if you don't do this. Okay, thanks for watching.